I'm just thankful to be up here because God had brought me a long ways. Um, he brought me out of, whoa, a lot. I just, I was telling Pastor um, Sunday that, Saturday that it's been about eight, eight years, going on eight years, I have not been in a club. And I was like, wow, I came a long ways. And I thank God for that. Okay, I'm going to start my message though. <laughs> okay, life is filled with priorities of wonderful blessing that God created for me and you to enjoy. However, on the other side, life has became a jungle, a fallen world and a sinful world. Amen. We're not, if we're not careful, it's easy to fall into the sinful world just by disobeying God's commands. Amen. As humans, we seem not to want to wait on the Lord, but we want to do things in a hurry. And when we start taking things upon ourselves, the outcome, we become a mess. Today, my topic is endurance, perseverance, and patience. James 5, 7 through 8. James 5, 7 through 8 states, Be patient, then, brothers, until the Lord is coming. See how the farmers wait for the land to yield its valuable crops, and how patient he is for the autumn and rains. To you, be patient and stand firm. Patience and stay firm because the Lord is coming, is near. Our Heavenly Father is the perfect example of the qualities of endurance, and perseverance, and patience. In meaning, in endurance and perseverance and patience, according to the American Heritage Dictionary, defines perseverance as sturdy, persistence, adherent, and course of action. A belief or purpose, steadfastness, is defined as endurance as the act of quality, of power, and withstanding hardship or stress. And what about enduring your trials and tribulations? When you're having trials and tribulations, it's all part of you and I walk. It is to make you and I stronger. However, when you and I must have patience to go through the trials and tribulations. It may not sound good nor make any sense, but it's nothing but joy when, fall, when you fall into sorts of trials because you know the testing of your faith produced endurance. James 1, 2 through 4. And it states, Consider it per joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials in many kinds because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Perseverance must finish its work so that you may mature and complete, no lacking anything. Endurance of hope. The Lord wants us to have hope. Pray and hope for the best. Have hope and have confidence in it. Have confidence and expectation that God is doing as a servant God and will do. That is one of the means in his endurance under afflictions and trials. Amen. As it will be stressed later, endurance is we relate in your heavenly treasures, Reward internal futures, eternal futures, especially when you re the returning of the Lord and the glories will follow. It's like when Paul prays the Thessalonians in their endurance of hope for the returning of the Lord. Well, we should have the same mentality of endurance and hope for the Lord to bless us. Amen. When we endure those trials, we will reward it, the crown of life. Amen. James 1 and 12. Blessed is the man who preserves under trial because... When he has stood the test, it will receive crown of life. God has promised to those who loved him. Amen. 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 Endurance of Christ, 2 Thessalonians 3 and 5. Second Thessalonians 3 and 5. <clears throat> and it states, May the Lord direct your hearts into God's love and Christ's perseverance. 
if we want to be more like Christ, then we should have that Christ-like quality that God wants to develop in you and I and live a part of our spiritual growth. The Lord will direct your heart toward the love of God and endurance of Christ. Luke 8 and 11 states, this is the meaning of the parable, the seed and the word of God. In meaning, after hearing the word, you are to hold on to it. The relationship of suffering, endurance, and hope and the growth will mature us. Endurance and patience of joy. Endurance of patience are both used in connection with joy because you and I, who are believers, and endurance under trials and patience with others should never be a matter of grim, and which means unrelenting. To situation or a person who may want to try our patience. Romans 12 and 12 states, be joyful and hopeful, hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Part of Paul's prayer was in Colossians 1, verses 9 through 14. Colossians 1, 9 through 14. It states, for this reason, since the day you heard about you, we have not stopped praying for you and seeking God to fill you with the knowledge and of his will through the spiritual wisdom and understanding. And we pray this is the order you may live a life worthy of the Lord and may praise him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of God, being strengthened in all power according to his glorious might, so that you may have great endurance and patience and joyful, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share the inheritance of the, of the saints and kingdom of light. For it has rescued us from dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of Son he loves, in whom we have redemption and forgiven sins. And Paul's prayer for the fruit, Paul prayer was for the fruitful growth. As we and saints seize our planet within you and I to be a walking example in knowledge and a spiritual wisdom and understanding. Patient of and endurance are true result in growth of maturing in God's truth as a believer. Learn who he is in Christ, complete in blessing with every spiritual bless with every spiritual blessing. Endurance, patience of love. The key word is love. If we do, don't love our sisters and brothers, then the wrong seed was planted inside us. Part of God's love, seed word love. We have to be patient with one another. Let's not forget where we come from. Learn how to treat, respect, love each other as Christ loved us. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Galatians 5, 22 and 23 states but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness gentleness and self-control against such things there is no law in meaning love never retaliates or seek to get even if this would occur then love would be absent Amen. examples of patience of being patient when a baby is born when a baby is born it takes patience as a parent to feed that baby until he or she brains develop where they're able to take on the spoon or fork or hold their own bottle. In addition, the baby depends on the parent to, or someone to feed them. Another example is um, sitting at a traffic light. There's a red, yellow, and green. When the light turns green, it's safe to go out in the intersection. But when the light turns yellow, and which means conscious, you slow down because you have a red light that's about to flash and which means stop danger. What I'm trying to say some, for some odd reason, we, I, try to take things upon ourselves, the Lord will give you that light, that green light to go ahead. However, when you start being impatient, God will give you that yellow light, that warning to slow down before the light turns red. Now you're entering the danger zone, you're about to hit self-destruction, or someone end up getting hurt. Through patience, there's long-suffering. Long-suffering means patiently enduring wrong and difficulties. Wonderful example of long-suffering is God toward men. God was dealing with the nation of Israel. Nehemiah 9, 16 to 21. 
9, 16 to 21. Okay. But they, our forefathers, become ignorant and stiff neck and did not obey your commands. They refused to listen and fall and fell in the it failed to remember the miracles you performed among them. They became sniff neck in their rebellion appointed and leader in order to return to their slavery. But they are forgive but you are a forgiving God, glorious and compassionate, slow to anger and abundant in love. Therefore you did not hurt them, even even when they cast of themselves the image of a calf and said, This is your God who brought you up out of Egypt when you co committed awful blasphemies. Because you are a great compassionate, you are abandoned them, you did not abandon them in the desert by day of the pillar of the clouds, did not cease to guide them in their path, nor the pillar of fire by night and shine on the way they were take, they were to take. You gave them good spirit, you gave them a good spirit to instruct them. You did not withhold your manner from their mouth and gave them water for their thirst for 40 years and sustained them in the desert. They lacked nothing. Their clothes did not wear, nor did their feet become swollen. And not, not only that, he is suffering, he is long suffering today as well. Second Peter 3, 7, and 9. 2 Peter 3, 7 and 9. By the same word, the present heavens and earth are reserved for fire being kept for the day of judgment and destruction for ungodly men. But do not forget this one thing, dear friends. With the Lord, the day is like thousand years and a thousand years is like a day. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise and some understanding slowness. He is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. Yeah. Amen. And then First Timothy, First Timothy, um, 1 Timothy, 1:15 through 16. First Timothy 1:15 through 16. Here is the trustworthy, trustworthy saying that that deserve full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world and saved sinners in whom I am the worst. But for whatever reason, I was shown mercy so that in me, the worst of the sinners, Christ Jesus might display an unlimited patience and an example for those who would believe on him and receive eternal life. And see the purpose of his long suffering is that we might have salvation. Second Peter Again, sorry. 3.15. Bear the mind that the Lord's patient means salvation, just as our dear brother Paul has also wrote you with the wisdom of God that gave him. And the Lord is still patient with his children today. He is patient through his love, his grace, and his mercy. Developing long-suffering is through the prayer and through love. Again, if we cannot love the ones who done us wrong, then there would be no significant motivation to bear with them. Through Paul's prayer, the, through, through, through Paul's prayer, believe that prayer will help the Colossians to, to for all patience and unders and long suffering with joy. God will strengthen those who deserve, who desires to be like them. According to Thomas Blackshear II, stated that Jesus' hands are slightly oversized, showing strength. They remind they remind us that we cannot rely on our own strength. We are totally dependent upon the Lord. As I conclude, God is a merciful God, a loving God, and patient. Just because something's not happening to you right now, it doesn't mean it will never happen. If you have faith, believe in God, will never, and will provide all your needs, he will turn things around for you and I, not on your time, but his time. Have endurance, perseverance, and patience. You will see him. You will see him fulfill his promise to you. God bless you and pray for me. Amen. Say amen.